Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. I love you guys so much. I just read the comments and sometimes I'm able to respond. I really try to respond to uh, most of you guys. Been super busy lately, but you guys are freaking amazing. I love coming up here and, and giving y'all the tea. Okay, so let's see. Today I did pull for you from your uh, from the pre-shuffle. And I feel like something different is taking shape, Berg. And I don't know if you wanted it to go down like this, but I feel like it's the best way for it to go down. All right. And what I mean by that is we have this Capricorn energy. You could have that somewhere highly aspected in your chart or be dealing with a Capricorn, but this came out on your pre-shuffle in the reverse. So first of all, Virgo, shout out to you. I feel like you're putting down certain toxic traits, toxic bondages, soul ties, like trying your best to will it away. Okay. And heal the past with this five of cups in the reverse. I feel like Virgo, it's your season. It's your time to reap. It's your harvest time. And I feel like you've been in a cycle for a while. And what I love about this page of Pentacles peeking through is that this talks about you giving to a new thing. Okay, you trying to see different fruits. Okay, you know what it is to bear some bullshit. It's time for you to see, hmm, now that I have my head right or now that I'm getting past these toxicities, maybe addictions. Okay, maybe something in love, Bird. We'll see what it is. But I feel like you have this renewed sense of like self, but it might have come from a not so desirable situation. Okay, and that's usually how it happens. So it's all good. Let's see what your first card. Ooh, your first card out, Virg, is the Ace of Cups. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, Hierophant. Okay, Queen of Wands. Very nice. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, bottom of that, the Fool Virgo. This is a beautiful spread. Okay, so we were talking about you like letting go of old patterns, old ways, old toxicities for you to take a new leap of faith. And I feel like Virgo is truly going to be a leap of faith because if you see this woman does not know what the what she's about to fall into. All right. It's just a, a, an energy where it has to happen, though. OK, like you have to do this change. OK, and I feel like it's something that feels really good, even though it's scary. And I feel confident saying that scary word Virgo, because we have the moon here. All right. I just saw two, two, two on the timer as well. You could be dealing with somebody born in February, Virg, particularly February 18th does not have to be. Now, with this moon card, you leaping right into the unknown, okay? Because maybe the toxicity or, or whatever this bondage was was commonplace to you. That was more familiar to you than feeling good in this new territory. Now, Virgo, your first card out is the Ace of Cups, <laughs> okay? So is this somebody new in terms of love that's coming in, Virgo? I feel like you could be having a lot of com conversation, Okay, back and forth communication is very passionate. It just has not come in. I do see this coming in for you, Virgo. And what I love about it is you go from now, okay, the, the devil in reverse to taking this new start. And now it's like you got this Queen of Wands Hierophant energy, which is totally like a complete 180 from what you were doing before or how you were before, Virgo. And I also feel like this could be a very specific message, but whatever this new leap is or whatever this new start is, you're very protective of it very protect i don't know if you got you some money virgo all right or it's a new person or something that you changed but you're not playing any game not everybody has access to it all right and that could just be simply you okay because you feel like virgo you're stepping you're literally stepping into a winning season something about the 17th okay just has to be a um hmm, i don't think it's a birthday all right something about the 17th but with this wheel of fortune here i feel this energy where Certain cycles are closing because you have this new opportunity or because you're looking at the world with different eyes, Virgo. It's almost like you went through some sort of experience where you're seeing that, wow, I was the one who was holding myself back. Because now it's like you have this wand in your hand and you're just getting, you're just manifesting, you're just getting what it is that you want. And I feel like it came from a place, Virgo, where you had to really sit down and hear yourself and kind of even get a little bit um, ruthless in your boundaries. Maybe you cur cut certain friends, family, was trying to heal certain issues and really go within. Because you go from the seven of wands, you go within, and then you end up your next card with that higher friend. Do you see the difference in the disposition of these two? This one is like, okay, I, I listen, I need a fucking break, God damn it. Okay, and this is like, I got my break, I know what I want, and I'm just blissful at this time, Virgo. So... In all these cards, they're smiling ear to ear in the latter half, Virgo. So something about you and your happiness. It's like it's here. Okay, so what is this spirit? What is this Ace of Cups and Virgo's energy? 
Why is this Ace of Cups here for the Virgo? Okay. Ooh, the High Priestess. Virgo, this came, this, whatever this new manifestation is or, or this new love offer or whatever it is that you're doing that you feel that like you love, it came from you going silent and going within. Now, this is also, even though Aces are new, this idea or this vision is not new. You've always had it. You've always known. Okay. And I feel like that's what kind of kept you strong or kept you able to, to fight back this damn demon or whatever this was. Okay. Or something that was kind of holding you back. I'm just using that as a metaphoric term. Now with the eight of wands here, what is this communication or I'm hearing confirmation. You might've gotten confirmation of some, ver, eight being clarified by another eight. So please let me know if this is your story. You got a confirmation, Virgo, that you needed to walk away from something, okay, which is that devil in reverse, but Virgo, you also always knew where you needed to head, okay, so it's like you're now taking the steps on something that you've always knew spiritually is what I'm hearing, wow, wow, Virgo, look at the devil showing up again, so it's something that maybe even certain toxic thoughts, toxic people, maybe a past lover, okay, but I see you moving toward something much more fulfilling, because you had to block out the bullshit, Virgo. You really did. And I feel like this is this reading feels like you and your intuition. It's just you and your intuition right now, period. Two of Cups. Okay, so you go from the Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. So because of what you did, because of what you're doing, Virgo, you're able to manifest some form of solidarity, some form of unison. Okay, and we have this Two of Cups coming up on this Hierophant. So I feel like, Virgo, you had to really visualize a different kind of day for yourself even if you haven't experienced this kind of love or experienced this kind of partner what you were really good at is visualizing it okay look at you here think about all the passion thinking about how great your person makes you feel so i really feel this energy virgo where you may you created your reality in the mind first you never let go of what it should feel like or what you at least think it should feel like because you could have been in a very shitty situation period point blank with the um the devil card and the five of cups in the reverse and your pre-shuffle. Okay, in a very shitty situation, could have stemmed from some sort of familial issue. Okay, you could have gone through a divorce, a very tumultuous, nasty breakup to where it kind of really ruined what you thought about a union, but you never let it take that vision of yours that you always had. Now, what is this higher thing here, spirit? Okay, two of swords. You might have been blinded at some points, Virgo, or, or felt a little bit where you didn't have your sense of direction, but you always knew it was within you and within your own, your own power to take that damn blindfold off and say, listen, I can see, I know what I want. I know what a 10 of cup is supposed to look and feel like, even though I may, I have yet to experience it. I know I'm supposed to be feeling full of love. I know I'm supposed to be loving myself and speaking life into myself and my partner. I know what a loving relationship should sound like. I may not know the inner workings of it, Okay, but I, I know some goddamn things. And I feel like, Virgo, this is this is that energy where it's like you're getting everything that you really was working for or really visualized. Queen of Cups. Virgo, I'm tapping into a Virgo who wants to be full of love. So much love that is so easy for you to give. You might have felt like in your past someone was very, very like... A, uh, like maybe even stingy with their cup of love or kind of controlled you in that way or it, a little emotional manipulation Virgo but you're so like it's just like you're so bossed up right now Virgo that even the your past person you don't even have any animosity toward okay you might some of you guys might do it's like nah I can still I can still run him that fade real quick okay but or her <laughs> But I feel like, Virgo, that's something that you uh, are working on, okay? Where you're working on putting that to rest so that you can truly be full of love. Because remember, forgiveness is for ourselves, okay? And not forgiving is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to drop dead because of it. No, no, no. The only one who's going to get sick is you. And I feel like, Virgo, that's something that you're starting to really internalize and say, you know what? I will never let this world harden me. I damn sure won't let my past harden me because guess what? My two of cups is on the board. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay? So we're going to keep that type of energy. My 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 uh, twin flame energy is on the board. Yes, it is. Okay? That's something that you have to really take in, Virgo. If you're not, take it in. Take it in. If you believe you are, you're right. If you believe you're not, you're right. Please put more weight and more emphasis on the on the mind because you co-create too. You're not just some empty vessel, Virgo. You are a co-creator. Okay? You have to treat yourself as such. Transformation. 
Okay, so for some of us, we're definitely working on still transforming those certain thoughts or transfer, transforming how we feel about ourselves. Some of us are so deep in our work that we're not allowing certain parts of ourselves to be seen or, or we don't even know how to meet our needs. But I feel like that's something that you're working on transforming because you're aware of it. And that's the first step. Okay, so this is really beautiful. Now, I want to get use a smashing deck just to see who's coming in. What is this? Because you started off. Let's not forget with this Ace of Cups. Okay, so Spirit, give us a tea. What is this? What is this Ace of Cups here? Something you always knew, Virg. Okay, Four of Cups. Okay, so some of you guys knew that that person you were in a relationship with was not going to work. <laughs> okay. You knew a Virg. They might have been a placeholder or, or you were just like, God damn, there's no way in hell God has sent me this. Okay, and Virgo, guess what? You were right. Okay, you were right. And that's why you did the right thing with the Eight of Cups and went searching for fulfillment elsewhere. Okay, because you realize it honestly has to stem from within. Okay, from, from within, so without. Okay, and I feel like that's what you're starting to see. So what is this? I feel like you became much more vocal too about something, Virgo. You started just maybe saying your needs out of nowhere because you might have been used to being quiet about something. Okay, here's that page of pentacles that we saw earlier in the hermit. Here's your energy, Virgo. So this is definitely you. You thought a long time about this, about detaching yourself or really sitting and being alone, soul searching and seeing that, listen, the only way change is going to come is if I make it because this person is not acting right and I need new change. I need something new in my life. And Virgo, with this page of pentacles, you started investing in something or doing something differently. Okay, that lended itself to a two of cups energy. So what is this? What is this spirit that the Virgo is giving to? I don't know if you were realizing this as you were giving to. Ooh, judgment. Wow. So Virgo, this is something that it, you got some real spiritual shit going on. All right, tower. Some sort of upheaval this caused. But I feel like you had to go like face first in it. So that way you can just get over get like get over it more quickly and with judgment it's like please let's let this go by quickly. I don't know if it was a breakup or or someone that you're interested in Virgo and it didn't maybe it didn't work out in the past and like here is a second time cuz judgment is also my card of second chances. So if there is an ex around and we did just start Mercury retrograde I believe last night, okay? Oh, oh that's what the that's what's going on too. So be be aware Virgo, okay? Exes like to pop up out the woodworks. All right, but also understand that this investment that you're making under these circumstances, I don't know why I feel the need to say under these circumstances, I feel like is really, really going to pay off for you. We have the Queen of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups here twice. Okay, so you could have a child with someone, Virgo. All right, that's only for a few of you. But I'm also getting this energy where you feel so full of love and you might not be able to explain why. Or this person makes you feel so full of love and so loving. Like, you feel very, like, gentle. Okay? And if I'm talking to my divine masculine, shout out to you. I feel like this woman feels so comfortable being in her full femininity. And I feel like we talk a lot about that. But, Virg, you really were arguing. Like, you were arguing your ass off in your last relationship. And this is very different. The fool card. Okay? And I feel like it's going to be new for you. <laughs> like, the fact that you're so soft and you're so... I don't know, Virg. This is a new Virgo. Okay, you could have a lot of water in your chart or that's the person most on your mind. I'm also getting heavy Gemini energy. You could also be dealing with another Virgo. Okay, but I feel like there's this giant leap of faith that somebody feels confident taking toward you. And you don't, you might not see it coming, Virgo. Do you see how this fool card is like leaping straight toward you, but your back is turned? Okay, are you sitting where you're supposed to be sitting though? On your throne. Yes, very much. Okay, but let's be aware of our surroundings, Virgo. Let's be aware of our surroundings, Okay. Uh, what is this spirit? Why is the full card here? Bottom of the deck, the higher pin. Okay, now we have that energy here twice. So, <laughs> all right, let me get this before I say that. What is this spirit? Why is the full card here? Ooh, somebody been thinking, thinking, thinking about you. Knight of Pentacles. Knights are very slow, but they are stable. Okay, so this is what's been causing this delay, your goddamn person. Okay. But Virgo, I feel like they finally end up taking that leap after a while of sitting in their mind for a while. They just always felt like they needed to figure more things out. You could be definitely dealing with another earth sign, Virgo. Okay? But they're very slow. But do you see that pinnacle? Okay, this is a knight. Knights come with sincerity. Okay? They're not quite a king. 
meaning they haven't gone through as many life uh, experiences. So they could be a little younger than you or still have a little growing to do, but that does not mean that we count them out. Okay, because this is somebody here who's being very stable toward you. Okay, and you might also not be paying this person any mind either, even though they do look like they're coming through with an offer. Okay, a valuable offer, not just love, but also like value in other ways that you see fit. But I feel like you might not be paying this person any mind for this, like, uh, get your weight up, youngin' kind of energy. Like, that's how... <laughs> That's kind of how this feels, where you're waiting for this person to mature. Okay, and I'm not talking about emotional immaturity or anything like that. This person seems to have their shit together. They're just a little younger than maybe what you would like. All right, but with this Four of Pentacles too, this person got a grip on you, doesn't he? All right, with this Four of Pentacles here, I feel like this person is very set on holding on to you and making sure that this goes far. Okay, and if you even see here, like this, the um, I'm tapping into the masculine, the Six of Swords energy, where you can kind of see there's a woman here, there's a child here, and this person is putting in the work, making sure that you guys get to safety. So again, like this, the, this person's qualities, they seem solid. Okay, they could be a Scorpio. All right, Virgo, and with this Wheel of Fortune, I'm also getting that they could be living at a distance. Okay, so I'm about to go into the extended Virgo. I'm going to get more on this person because I really do like the traits that they have. I just feel like you're not paying them that much mind, very, but that could change, okay? So we're going to see what's going on in the um, extended, as well as this judgment energy, if anybody's in, invested in hearing about their ex, okay? I will pull a few cards on that as well. I'll get their intentions, uh, their next steps, and anything that anyone could be hiding here, Virg. So if you are interested, everything will be down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Virg.